Hello, and welcome to another video by Yes Repair. I am your host, Mr. Fixit. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clean out your coffee maker. Now, there are different types, there are different brands. Uh, most videos that you see, most directions that you see, is often using vinegar. Well, vinegar does get rid of some stains and things like that, but the thing that vinegar does not do is get rid of scale deposits. Uh, whether it's lime, rust, calcium buildup, it all depends on the water that you use to make your coffee. Some of you use city water, others, you, others of you uses well water. Now it's going to depend on how hard that water is. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how to clean and the, the minerals, the calcium, the lime buildup that's in the water and, or in the system of the coffee maker. And it's fairly simple. Uh, you are going to need some, uh, some lime remover. Uh, this right here is uh, one of the good ones that I'll be, I use. Uh, it's calcium, uh, lime, and rust remover. It's CLR. You can pick these up at your local uh, uh, hardware store. And these here uh, work very well. Um, you don't want to use pure. You want to uh, dilute it into a solution. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's get started. Uh, you get your calcium or your lime remover stuff. Most of these will work at one part uh, chemical to eight parts water. And that's what we're going to do here. For instance, if you use um, one cup of the, of the cleaner, you need eight, eight cups of water to mix with it. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use this coffee maker and show you what we're going to do. Now, because this has already water in it and it's hot, all I need to do is add the chemical to it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to remove the top. Now it's good to do this about once every three to six months depending on how hard the water is. Now uh, this will help make your coffee pot make your coffee maker run last a lot longer. Especially these types of coffee makers where it has a reservoir that keeps the water hot at all times because what happens is if it collects onto the elements then elements has to work harder because the, uh, the calcium and the lime buildup don't transfer heat very well eventually causing your healing element and coffee pot to go to go bad so let me go ahead and take those out This one here does not want to behave. There we go. All right. Now, as you can see here, um, I do have uh, the thing apart. Let me move this out of the way. And lean this over. Now you'll see how all of this uh, grinds and stuff. This is the mineral that's in the water. And just think how it's going to look in here in the water tank. So let me go ahead and I'm going to make my mixture here. Now what I want to do here, let me go ahead and put this here. I'm going to get my removal. Get my little coffee cup, or my little measuring cup. I'm just going to put a cup of this in here. A little bit more. Because this thing holds 12 cups, 12 to 14 cups. 
and then we pour it in here. Now I'm going to pour this anywhere I see stains. Now if you use measuring cups and stuff, be sure you completely rinse them out thoroughly to make sure that the chemical, there's no residue of the chemical left. Now this is what it's going to start doing. This is what you want it to do. As you can see, this hasn't been cleaned in a while. Uh, usually you clean these about once a year. It's going to depend on what uh, how hard the water is and you want to mix it up one part uh, chemical or one part cleaner to one eight parts of water and you're going to see a reaction like this this lets you know that it's actually removing and dissolving the calcium and the line buildup or any rust that may be in there now these are aluminum you don't want to use it full strength uh, you want to mix it up with the water and you're going to have results like this. It's going to go ahead and circulate it. Now you want to let it do this until it stops boiling or bubbling like this is or foaming and then you'll be ready to flush the system out. Now once I'm done with this coffee maker and it stops foaming what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pour the hot water out of the tank now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to run some fresh water I'm going to fill my coffee pot up to the max and then put it in the uh, coffee maker so I can flush the rest of this chemical out Now, let me show you what I'm going to do next. Uh, this time, I'm going to have it come out of the spigot. As you see here. And that way I get the chemicals out of the spigot. just like so. Now you want to do this about three or four times when you're using these uh, water tanks because you want to make sure you get all the chemicals out and any rocks that may be inside it. Now let me go ahead and run it again. Now the other thing I like to do is to shake it And drain. Now this is the spigot that came out of the top part of the thing there which allows it to spray through your uh, filter and I had it soaking in the I don't know if you noticed it or not but it was in the coffee pot because I had it soaking in there while I was cleaning the coffee maker. Now you just run warm with cold water on here You can use a little brush. Now, I've got this coffee pot, or the coffee maker, back together. And I've got it all rinsed out. I've done it about three or four times. Um, you want to go ahead and brew a plain, uh, just a plain water. Uh, I've got it filled up. And like you see, you know, as soon as you close the lid, it immediately brews your coffee. That's what I like about this type of coffee maker. Now what you want to do is let it go ahead and brew just a plain 
uh, pot of coffee. Make sure it's all rinsed out. Now, while this thing's brewing, uh, what you want to do is check uh, if you still smell the chemicals and stuff in there, you may want to wash it a few more times to make sure that all the chemicals are out of the tank on these types of uh, coffee makers. Now, with this one, this is your normal, typical uh, percolator. Uh, this one here is a little different. I found this in a yard sale, and I took it with me because you know, anywhere I go, I could just make a little cup of coffee for myself um, while I'm on the road. So what I'm going to do here with these percolator type coffee makers, some of the newer ones have water filters in them. Uh, before you start cleaning these, uh, you want to remove those water filters. Uh, not all of them have it. Uh, the water filters do cut back on the minerals. Um, if you do have a filter in it and you're going to clean these, remove the water filter before cleaning these coffee makers. Now, what I'm going to do here is similar to what I did with the uh, other one that I showed a moment ago. Uh, that other one just had a tank in it which always kept water hot, but you had to keep it to where you could flush it out. This one here is just a percolator. Now, you can read the instructions on the back of these bottles. Uh, they will tell you how to do coffee makers. Uh, again, it's one part uh, chemical to, or one part cleaner to eight parts of water. So, what I'm going to do here is, let me go ahead and take this apart. Uh, this one here is where it had the uh, filter and the uh, pod on the same thing. Uh, it's always come in handy. So what I want to do here, let me go ahead and rinse this out. Now what I'm going to do here with these is because this only holds about one or two cups, uh, I'm going to only use one quarter cup of my mineral cleaner, deposit cleaner. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use about one quarter cup. That's all it takes. And I'm going to pour it in my coffee cup or my coffee pot. And then what I'm going to do here is fill the rest of this up with water. Now, as you can see here, I have my stuff mixed up. It's got that light green color to it. Uh, I made one quarter cup to. Uh, uh, for a full pot. Um, if you're going to do a 10 cup or a 12 cup coffee pot, uh, you want to do a one cup, one half to one cup to uh, add it to your coffee pot and then add the rest to water. Now let me go ahead and what I'm going to do here, again remember the, fit, the water filter is pulled out. Let me go ahead and take this solution Now when you first mix it, it is going to foam a little bit. Now you can let it sit there for about a minute or two, you know, let it soak uh, while it's in there, and then you can turn your coffee pot on. Now when you percolate these like this, you only need to use, uh, I'll let it run through one cycle. Now, if it's bad enough, you may have to run it through two cycles. But you should only have to run it through one cycle. Now, as you can see here, it's got a little foam to it. So it's not too bad. I do keep these pretty cleaned out. It's not so bad when you're on city water, but if you get these from yard sales or uh, uh, flea, bat, uh, flea market stuff, uh, there's no telling when the last time that coffee maker was cleaned. And all you gotta do is just let it run it through its cycle.
Now, once it's finished, uh, you may have had to run it one or two times because uh, it is going to start foaming depending on how bad it is. But now what I'm going to do here is, now that it's finished, I'm going to go ahead and take this, I'm going to empty it out. Now here, as you can see here, i got a nice, uh, clean, cold water. Uh, now what you want to do is you want to rinse these percolators uh, about two or three times. So, let me go ahead and fill this up. Now I'm going to plug it back in and let it percolate the clean water. Well, this concludes this video. I uh, hope it was helpful. Uh, I've shown you how you can uh, clean different coffee makers from Bun to Hamilton Beach. Um, just be sure that you only use one part of the, remo uh, the cleaner and eight parts of water and you should have no problem getting your coffee maker completely clean. Now if you just want to do a routine clean, vinegar and water will help. Uh, if you want to do a deeper clean, you need to use uh, a calcium lime remover and that will help uh, make your coffee pot last longer and uh, better tasting coffee. Now you want to make sure that you do rinse these out two or three times. You want to ensure that all the chemicals of the cleaner is removed. Uh, as you're cleaning it, uh, if you're still smelling a, a hint of the chemical or the cleaner, be sure to wash it another one or two times until you no longer smell uh, the cleaner. Well, I'm your host, Mr. Fixit. Thank you for watching.